Well, we are super excited about this season and just getting things going. We've had some really good uh, preseason practices and just have a lot of new faces on our roster and on our team. And clearly from last year, you know, I, I think that we um, obviously were disappointed in, in our outcome and our finish, but at the same time uh, made a lot of progress off the court um, and started building the, the type of program and tradition and expectations that we want here at UTA. Um, and so now, you know, we've we've had a successful recruiting class and excited about them being on our campus and, and putting them together. And it's, it's just a matter of building some chemistry and um, just them learning our program and um, and putting it all together. But really excited about about what we're seeing. Our, our practices have been really good. They've been intense. Um, lots of good effort and attitudes and lots of internal competition. So really looking forward to a better outcome um, throughout the entire season, but uh, ready to get started on November 14th. Thank you, Coach Gerlich. We will now go to our first questions. Uh, first questions come from Arlington, Texas. Car caller, please identify yourself and go ahead. Hey, Coach Gerlich, this is Sam Wharton with the Star Telegram. How are you today? Good. How are you, Sam? Oh, uh, doing really well. Hey, I wanted to ask you, um, so when, when March rolls around, I wanted to get your thoughts on what, what will have had to have happened for you to kind of look back and say this season went the way you want it to happen? Um, well, you know, that's a, that's kind of a loaded question right there. <laughs> um, but we want to – we absolutely want to improve every day. Um, we have some high expectations for this group. I mean, I think that we worked really hard in the off-season recruiting and, um, and, and putting together a team that, that we want to be successful quickly. Um, but yet still building the foundation for, for our future and, and for what we're, you know, working towards. Um, clearly we want to be playing in New Orleans in March. Um, that's always a goal and, and absolutely um, something that this team is hungry for. Um, but I think that we need to, to really um, – be extremely competitive in every game that we play in, and, and I feel like we need to be in the in the race um, in in conference. You know, I mean, I'm not saying that we're going to jump up there and win it by any means, but but I do want us to be competitive and and to be able to for the opponents in our conference to know that every time they step on the floor against us, they're going to get a great battle. Great, cool, thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. And our next questions come from Joshua Parrott. Josh, please go ahead. Yes, good morning, Coach. Um, good morning. You, you mentioned the uh, some of the newcomers. Who, who do you feel are going to be maybe the, 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 the main or the top impact players uh, out of those new players to the program? Oh, well, I think uh, without a doubt LaShonda Green is, is going to have to be an impact player for us because she is our point guard. Um, I'm really excited about the things she's doing for us, and her basketball IQ is really high. Um, and she's just a competitor. Um, so I think she definitely is going to have to be an impact player for us. Also, Morgan Holly, um, she had a successful junior college career at Odessa, and we're going to need her to come in and, and to carry some of the load on the paint in the paint for us early, um, because our 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 bigger kids are our younger kids. Um, and I think they're probably going to need some games to get under their belt just to get used to the college level and the speed of the game and the strength. Um, but, I, but I think Morgan's already used to that, so I think she's going to have to come in and be impactful for us early. Um, but then our entire freshman class um, is, is exciting to me. Um, I think Sierra Johnson is going to be able to turn some heads with her defense. Um, she's really long, um, has a lot of length to her, and, and can really guard on the perimeter. And, and just make some things happen. She gets to the rim well. She she passes it well. Um, so I think that she's really going to help us in the long run. And then, of course, Artavia Ford and Rebecca Van Dyke um, are our two big kids. Um, we have, we're six five and six three in that freshman class, and we need that strength and that size. Um, but, again, they're freshmen, and there's a big step between high school ball and, and Division one basketball. So it will – determine on uh, their impact will determine on how quickly they can adjust to the college game. But I think all three of those kids can be very impactful as well. What what were some of the main lessons that maybe you guys learned from your first go round in the Sun Belt? And then maybe what are some of the strengths that you see with this particular group of players? Well, um, I think, you know, just Lessons-wise, I mean, the whole year was just a, a, a – I mean, it was really a trial run for us. I mean, for the coaching staff to 
get um, acquainted with the Sun Belt um, style of play and the, and the teams that are in the league. Um, and then also, you know, we, we don't have a lot of returners from the team that we coached last year. Um, so we really are trying to orchestrate a brand-new team. But at the same time, I think we figured out um, – maybe the athleticism that's in the Sun Belt. I mean, and that certainly affected our recruiting because we have to match their athleticism. Um, and, and just the coaching, I mean, the coaching is incredible, I think, in the Sun Belt. I mean, I think we have a great group of, of coaches and a great – I mean, there's some, some, lots of competition amongst the teams, and I think there's a lot of parity in the Sun Belt. So um, I think it gave us hope because we are – we were in a lot of the games we played, but at the same time, we've got to figure out how to finish. Um, our team did not finish very well last year, and that's going to be something that has to be different this year for us to make a difference in our conference standing. Um, as far as our team goes this year, I think some of our strengths are going to be um, our depth. I think we're going to have some depth in the post position that's going to help us. Um, we're going to have some size that absolutely will help us. Um, and then just the internal competition that we will have um, every day in practice. I mean, we have 15 kids on our roster that can that can contribute, and I think that the, that our practices have been really good because of that. Um, that we can really compete within practice, and and it's it might be someone else's night every night. You know, it's not going to be a set five that you have to go with because um, I don't have any other options. I mean, we're going to have options, so we're going to be able to have that internal competition that I think is so healthy and, and good for, for programs that are on the rise especially or trying to build. And, and also as far as the leadership uh, and just the leaders of this group, who, who has emerged in your opinion and, and what, what exactly have they shown you so far? Well, I think it's been fun to watch um, our returners because um, the things that we were preaching all last year, um, they have bought in and, and they're already instilling that in our newcomers. Um, just little things that we do in practice or expectations that we have on and off the court. Um, and they're speaking up and they're holding those kids accountable. I mean, I think um, uh, Sean Williams is doing a really good job and I think that um, Talia Pope has done a really nice job leading us. Um, and then Morgan um, Hunt, who is a transfer kid for us, that's a post player, that's a junior, um, was voted team captain by her team. And I think that speaks a lot of her because she's not a senior. So um, I think those three kids in particular have done a really good job. Um, while Sierra Johnson, I think, is going to be a leader for us as well. As a freshman, she's very vocal and um, says great things and brings a lot of energy to practice. So I think she is absolutely going to be a leader for us on down the line. Coach, thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it. Hope you have a good day. Thank you. I appreciate your time. Thank you, Josh, and uh, thank you, Coach. Uh, best of luck this season. Appreciate you joining us today. Thanks so much. Appreciate you all.